Hello YouTube, it is I, Donald, back again with the next part of our playthrough, If My Heart Had Wings, part 4. So, in the last episode, we met this girl who knows us, and apparently she could be possibly... Oh no, she's a childhood friend, we confirmed that already. Yeah, I remember that. So, let's go back to the load. Load our save data. And then, bam! Yes, let's load. Yeah, of course, that's me, Agatha. Did you forget my face? Yes, I did forget your face. I forgot it since I haven't played this in a long, I don't know, whenever I last uploaded or whatever. She asks, she asks as she briskly moved closer, bringing her face right up to mine. Get out of my face, girl. It's definitely Agatha. She changed a lot, but if I just look at her face, there's no doubt about, there's no doubt that it's her. Is it really that, Agatha? What do you mean that? What's going on? I know you, and that's it. Well, at least we know her last name now. What is it? What is it to the other girls as they gathered around in a circle? Oh yeah, I forgot about the, those two. Ageha turned to face them and introduced me. Oh great, do we know someone else? Sachin replied, no way, Aoi, as she warmly raised her voice in surprise. When we were in the fourth grade elementary school, we were in the same class once. Oh, so I do know this girl. Oh, the second one. I think that was our story, I don't remember. The girls seemed impressed by Aga's explanation and they looked at me with eyes full of expectation. Nice to meet you. I'm Aoi. Ah, you know my name. I'm Aoi Minase. In front of all these girls in their uniforms, I greeted them with a stern look on my face as I tried to hide my embarrassment. Why are you embarrassed? Agaha laughed as she looked up um, with relish. What the hell? I never thought I would find myself doing introductions in the street on the way to school like this, so I was totally unprepared. Gotta prepare for the unexpected, dude. What are you talking about? I'll say it again. Let me do it again. Oh, like the thing. Like a little girl. I remember that. How tall are we? As she spoke, Agatha was moving her hands around my head to show the difference in height between myself and her. Our bodies were making contact, but she either didn't notice or didn't really mind. I flinched slightly, but the fact that she was so unreserved actually made me feel more comfortable. We need good in matches. Speaking of which, you've changed too. So? As she said, you think so, she looked at herself. I don't know, what? Yeah, you always look like a boy, so I was surprised to see that you become a girl. That's hell of me. Or whatever. Those were my honest thoughts, but I said them in a way that sounded weird. I thought she might find it slightly charming, but... <laughs> sure. I really don't know. Whenever I played this game, I really didn't like her the most. She was like my least favorite. Actually, I don't remember. Agaha laughed happily and did a little turn on the spot. A turn? The force of her spin made her skirt float around gently. Oh gosh. Yeah, it's like you're not really Agaha. While dazed and not really thinking, those thoughts just kind of slipped out. Yay! Okay, I was pleased and did high fives with her friends. Okay. Seeing her in high spirits like that just... Like that felt just like old times. Just like the old times. Agatha, my best friend, during childhood hadn't changed in the five years that had passed. Well, that's one of three, I believe. Her appearance was surprising, though. Oh. Transition, go to school. Ah, the school. Dude, this place looks so legit. The lessons on my first day at my new school flew by in the blink of an eye. Between the language and social studies lessons taught in a regular class with, in regular schools, okay, between the language and social studies lessons taught in regular schools were those from a specialist curriculum. I was still in my second year, so I didn't have many of those classes, but it appears that when you go into your third or fourth years, the number of them increases. I don't know what he's talking about. By the way, this is a five-year school. What? 
Oh, wow. I can't imagine going to a five-year school. Damn. That's why when walking the hallways, this kind of thing happens. Like, what kind of thing? I don't know. Tell me. Look at the interior. It's so cool. Hey, she's pretty. Oh, gosh. Coming from an all-boys school with its sad customs, I couldn't help my eyes from following the girls as I walked past them. Ah, this guy. Ah, uh, it's not like that, but... It's still cold where I'm at. I'm gonna get a jacket real quick. Alright, I have returned, and it's really cold. If you curious why, it's still the day of that storm thing I did on that one Domal Talk thing. It's all cold. I have a jacket, it's not warm. Alright, so we're checking out the girls. Of course we are. No, that's not it. I just thought that they looked really grown up. That's all. They're seniors from. Oh, let's talk over you. Fourth and fifth years? That's so weird. At our age, a gap of three or four years is pretty big. The students in the upper grades look pretty mature. Lots of girls in this school? Huh? Why is that? Without thinking, I really took an interest in that, and Akka looked at me as if she wanted to call me a pervert. Not our fault, alright? If I were at a school with like a fifth year, that would be so weird. Um, I don't see why, but okay. I'd heard about that before I transferred. Story time! They increased the number of courses for girls and asked famous designers to make the designs for the new building. Well, this hallway looks pretty legit, I must say. And like you can see right here, the building is circular. And like, these ramps are designed so that, like, you know, people in wheelchairs can get up. And I think that's an elevator here. So, this place is pretty cool. I'd love to go to this place. It has been said, thanks to that, the ratio of boys and girls is about 50-50, which is one of the selling points of this school. Okay. Bearing this in mind, I felt uneasy about choosing the school as the one I would transfer to. But, I'd like people to think that it can't be helped because I'm a boy... Because I'm from an all-boys school. Oh, gosh. By the way, it's now lunchtime. Why'd you mention that first? Agatha is in the middle of giving me a guided tour of the school building. Yeah, but this really is an amazing school. I know, right? Look at the outside. So cool. So calm and collected. The school itself is pretty old. Due to it being a special kind of school, of course, it's famous in the local area. I've known about it too since I was a little kid. The school building was has been rebuilt over the last few years, with the renovations divided into several stages. The last of which was completed just one year ago. Must take a long time to build a place this awesome. It's said that was because of the famous designers. The design uses is many curved lines so the appearance is far removed from what is generally associated with the word school. Yeah, I could see that. It's pretty, I could get that. It felt like I entered some kind of sci-fi setting. I know, see? See, this, this character and I, we, we get this. See, I told you, talking about full disabled access. I knew that was the thing. Disabled access? That's right, Miss Alul, I mean Katori, should be somewhere in the school. Uh, I like how they speak. Are you bringing that up again? Really? Agatha, as she walked by my side, was happily murmuring as she looked at my face. Stop it. Not our fault. Yes, yeah, same to you. Aha! You can. I don't know what he's saying, but sure. 
And she knew that when we met on the way to school earlier, I thought she's pretty cute. She'd never let it go, so I'd better keep quiet. Oh, so that's what happened. Or that's what you're talking to. Oh, he told us. You heard it from Anchan? Who is this Anchan? By the way, I'm in the same class as Aga. Oh, gosh. She knew that I might be coming as a transfer student, which is why she wasn't that surprised by our chance meeting this morning. Not our fault. Sorry. The reason why we call him Anchan isn't because he's my older brother. Oh, we have a brother? He was our childhood friend, but he was much older than us, so we nicknamed him Anchan. Oh, so he's just like a role model ish person, I guess. He's not related by blood, but he's just like a real big brother. I said that already, but okay. Agaha glared at me and said, Jeez, as I tried to laugh it off. <laughs> the Axe Bomb Bear Lariat? Oh gosh. She wouldn't really have hit me. As we talked, we went back to the classroom. This girl is violent and dangerous. Be wary. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Look at this classroom. I mean, freaking computers in every desk. Giant screen TVs on the ceiling and that giant board. Oh my gosh, I love this place. And that view of the window, like the windmills. Oh my god, I love this place. And I love this game from its cool design. Okay, enough of me fanboying. The classrooms weren't exactly normal either. I told you so. I feel a little uneasy taking lessons here, but maybe I'll get used to it sometime soon. Get used to it now, like I do. By the way, there's a girl here. By the way, there's a girl in a wheelchair in this school, right? Miss Alul. No, I mean, she's called Katori Habane. I asked Agaha as we returned to our seats. I didn't ask what grade she was in, but even if it's not the same, I thought Agaha would at least be aware of her. Uh, yeah. Agaha reacted like she was being evasive. It wasn't just Agaha, but the other people sitting nearby who heard our conversation also seemed kind of awkward. What the hell? Question mark? Yes, yeah, I'm confused too. She's in this class? Fancy meeting that. Or, you know, what are the chances of that? After Agaha said that, someone added, You mean today either, don't you? The way she said that seemed quite harsh. That can be, I mean... I thought about explaining that she had left the dormitory this morning in her uniform, but I held my tongue. The atmosphere was kind of strange, oh no. That's a lie. <laughs> Not feeling well. Flashback time. Yesterday, she had went out to Windmill Hill, and then later she was chasing that duck around the hallways of the dormitory. And this morning, she left wearing her uniform. Is she skipping school? We got a delinquent here. However, more worrying than what Katori is up to is the reaction of the others in the class when they heard us talking about her. Even Agaha looked like she had something she wanted to say, but couldn't. But I don't really know what the situation is, so I can can't really say anything. We don't know the situation. Who's this boy? Get out of here. Trying to have a conversation. As awkwardness started to fade, an optimistic voice called out. For the entrance of the classroom, a carefree looking guy poked his head and started speaking to a boy in our class. What? Oh, it's the other guy. Assuming that this, they're all childhood friends. Finally, some other boy that's not us. Sup, dude. The guy known as Mabo came into the classroom. Uh, don't know who this is. I was about to say that. I was thinking the same thing. Damn, so forceful. 
Yes, I'm a transfer student. <laughs> we thought the very same thing, so... Agaha and I both looked blankly at him for a moment. Uh, he doesn't know us. Fail. Okay, whatever. Long time no see, Mabo. Huh? Why is this chance for student being so buddy-buddy with me? His face seemed to say, yeah, I'll agree with that. It's me. Have you forgotten me? <laughs> yeah, you finally realized? I looked at Agaha and she... <laughs> oh gosh. She wanted to surprise him, so it seems like she intentionally didn't tell him. This slightly superficial guy is Ma Masa Masatsugu Tasaki, or Mabo as we call him. Okay, good, because Masatsugu Tasaki sounds complicated for me to pronounce. He's our childhood friend. Damn, they have like what? Him, Aoi, the girl, and then Anchan. I think there was someone else, but I forget. Of course we're a transfer student, you don't remember? I know, right? Gee, those are your problem. You seem well, Mavo. You've grown pretty big. Whoa! My god, Su Masa my guess. Mavo used to be really small, but now he was about the same size as me. Were you like the tallest or something like that? It's not quite the change in Agaha. It's not quite like the change in Hagaha, but in the five years that have passed since we were kids, it looks like he's grown to go to he's grown to about twice the size. Dang it, freaking long ass lines. Oh, oh my god! Now he seems happy. Bro fist! We carried each other by the right hand. Yeah, bro fist! Or bro manliness. This was in instead of a small, quiet greeting. Um, I think our text box says Aoi. Yeah, our name's Aoi. Yeah, I'm back, Mabo. Wow, now he's really happy. Oh gosh, this time, bam! He gave me a full on hug. Oh gosh. Hey, hey! Yes, this is very passionate friendship going on right now. We were the only ones who thought so, whereas all the girls around us were totally freaked out. Uh, there's nothing to freak out about this. Okay, never mind. What? What did we do? Mabo suddenly backed off and thrust his finger at the end of my nose. What is this all of a sudden? Not our fault again. I don't know what you guys been through. Involved in what? Looks like we have some history. I'm sorry, but it's not my fault that I had to move away. If you want to complain, say it to my dad. I thought about writing a letter, but I felt kind of embarrassed. For the most part, the fact that there was no contact was both our faults. Great, now our passionate friendship turned into hate. With saliva flying out of his mouth as he emphasized words, Mabo forgot all about borrowing the English dictionary and he stormed out of the classroom. Yep, now we see what kind of character he is. It wasn't just us, but everyone in the classroom was shocked. How dare you? Ah, good plan. I see, I see. I think that was the correct decision. I want to say thank you. Thank you. I knew it. Even so, he did seem really upset about it. Oh, I see. Uh, I see. He was the follower, I guess. I don't know. Well, well, not in, you know. Okay, we're friends, okay? You know what I'm saying? 
Don't say it like that. It sounds weird. I told you, right? <laughs> well, not I don't not to us. Okay, don't emphasize like that. While we carried on talking, the bell to mark the end of lunchtime sounded. Oh, that bell tone. I love that bell tone. Everyone put away their lunchboxes and got ready for the next lesson. Agaha went back to her seat. She stopped halfway, then walked back. What's up? Agaha seemed concerned about those around us and lowered her voice. Oh, shoot. She's questioning us. Well, the truth is, my mom asked me to be the dorm mother of a student dormitory. I lowered my voice so that those around us could hear. Yeah, don't tell anyone that. Katori is boarding there. My mom asked me to take good care of Katori. Even if she hadn't, I'd be worried about her anyway. As she listened to my explanation, Agaha thought it over. Her expression darkened somehow. Why is that? It looked as if she was saying, I can't believe she doesn't enjoy school. You seem to enjoy it. I guess. It was still my first day at school, at a new school, but I was still enjoying it quite a lot too. Oh, wow, you're too slow. Whether or not she was convinced by my story, Agha mumbled something or other as she returned to her seat. Fade into black. Oh, shoot, time. After school. Oh, no! Alright, that's the end of this part for now. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next part of... Next part of our play... Let's play on... Or the Domo plays of If My Heart Had Wings. So, thank you guys for watching. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video. So, take care guys. Bye!